shake in a count and make the skull upset. Upset. No, 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 I don't sit. Done. Back of the class, man, I'm a subject. Uh. Got a girl in the beam, I want to rough sex. It's about the money, I, but you're not drunk. What's good, YouTube? Arnor Motorsports back with another one for you guys. Um, today, we're going to be installing these LED daytime running lights on my E70 X5. Uh, pretty much, I already have the housings pulled off the car and the OEM slots taken out. But pretty much, what I sell on my website are these um, LEDs. And pretty much what it does is it, once you pull out this housing from your bumper, which I'll show you guys in the next clip, this pretty much just comes here. Uh, there's clips all around that you guys can see. And then it just uh, clips in right here. And then um, it is two wires. I'll show you guys right now. A blue and a black. And it wires up to your car. I'm not sure how I'm going to wire it yet. But that's what I'll show you guys in this video. Um, with that being said, I'm going to snap this one into place. And pretty much all it does is clip in. There's clips all around. And there's some clips on the top right there. And this is my cat, Louie, for you guys. He likes playing with... The car parts, as you guys can see. Say what's up, Louis. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch y'all in the next clip. Alright, you guys, so we're pretty much testing to see what to wire it to, and we got it working. Pretty much what we did was pulled out the harness for the fog light bulb. And then as you guys can see, the blue goes to the yellow and red wire. And the black, which is the ground, goes to the uh, gray wire. I mean the brown wire. Browns are ground. Browns are brown. <laughs> so pretty much the way these are going to work is when my fog lights come on, these are going to come on as well. Uh, so yeah. So we got everything spliced to the fog lights. Uh, the wiring is what I told you guys before. We unlock the car and it comes to life. So now all we have to do is plug the connector back into the fog light bulb and both of them should light up. So I think that's what Josh is going to do right now. get back with you guys once he plugs it in i don't make you guys wait all right so we got it plugged in now to the fog light and as you guys can see when you unlock the car everything comes to life now we can peel that plastic off and once you guys have it wired up pretty much there's just a bunch of clips in the bumper and then there's slots on like the light housing thing itself and pretty much it just clips into place How do we do this? Yeah, we, we're gonna have to figure out a way how to do this without taking the bumper off. Because we're definitely not taking the fucking bumper off just to put it in a light. So, we'll figure this shit out. So we decided it was a smarter idea to like pop on this piece first. And then put the light in. Just so there's like more room for you to work with. So when you guys do it, uh, put the light on to this piece after uh, you put this piece into your bumper. So once again, if you guys didn't get it in the last clip, pretty much you're going to splice the black into the brown and the blue into the red and on the left side it's red and brown I think. I mean yellow and brown. So you're going to splice into that. That that holds your fog light, the fog light harness. And then pretty much after you splice it in, you just uh, plug in your fog light back in and everything works. So. Once we're done installing the last one, pretty much just clips in to the new housing and we'll have the install done. This is what it looks like on this side though. I might end up getting them wrapped just to get rid of the chrome, but for now it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, we were serious when we said we're not taking off the bumper. This nigga got his whole forearm through the fender liner, bro. This nigga's fucking determined out here. <laughs> Yeah, gotta do what you gotta do to get this shit clipped in. What the fuck? Alright you guys, so we got uh, both of the DRLs installed. I'm gonna unlock it for you guys now to show you. It looks sick guys. 
This is honestly what the X5 should have came with from the factory. But yeah, it definitely looks better than having like an empty hole right there. Uh, let me put the hood down for you guys so you guys can get a better idea. This shit's sick. All right, you guys, so this is what the daytime running lights look like installed. Uh, it's about to start pouring right now, so I'll be trying to get this outro banged out real quick for you guys. But yeah, as you guys can see, it makes the car look a lot more modern. Um, let me get a close up for you guys on the right side here. This is what it looks like close up, even more close up. Um, but like I was telling you guys in the other clips, um, I might end up wrapping the chrome part of the housing to a black just to give it the complete uh black that look that i'm going for with this car but honestly it makes it so bright when you're driving uh people are probably gonna get pissed off when i'm behind them but um with that being said it's starting to pour right now so i'll catch you guys in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed uh this video these daytime running lights will be available on my website i have them for lci e70 x5s and pre-lci so let me know. The ones on my car are for uh, pre-LCI, so 2007 to 2010, and then I also have them for 11 to 13. But yeah, guys, so I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.